Oh, 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 she's a gorgeous day today. What's up guys, how's it going, Mark from 408? We're down here at the track, and I thought to myself, you know what, it's time, it's cleanup day. So we're getting rid of the Fusion here, and we're getting rid of the Civic. We were debating on jumping this again, tires off, she barely starts. So I'm like, let's just get rid of it and start fresh, get some fresh vehicles. We got Nala, she's playing in the mud already. And yeah, see what we can get next. The Dodge Nitro still works pretty good. Just covered in rubber. <laughs> uh, so maybe we can find a, another 4x4 or a car. Or I'll figure it out. Anyways, let's get this thing loaded up. No, no, who's that? Who's that? You happy? Happy to be on the track? Huh? You little mud pup? Come on. Come on. Throw her back in the puddle. She's going for a haircut next week. Get her winter coat off. Cause she is shedding like crazy all over our house. We definitely had some fun with these cars, that's for sure. Is that your new whip? Oh, yeah. The new daily? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ready to go. I don't know if you guys remember the old F-250 jump, that jump that freaking cleared over here. But Jimmy was here for that. I tried to run him over with it, but they got out of the way too quick. <laughs> See? and everything, eh? I'm gonna miss you, Fusion. We had so much fun together. Oh, the things we could make down there. The Chevy Civic Dakota. <laughs> the old Princess Auto Special. Quick tire change. This is the one. Oh, we still got snow tires on here. We're good to go. Another 100,000. Yeah, 22 degrees out. I don't know, she might snow, you never know. <laughs> yeah, you got the half inch to wall. This is the ultimate tire changer. I got my tire changed just in case. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Thing does wonders. You ever used one of those before? Yeah. Lefty Lucy. Yeah, those are right handed thread. <laughs> Is the muffler gonna rip off? Probably gonna take the whole bumper with it too. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Strong muffler. Hey. And there she is. <laughs> uh. You forgot your cat. The muffler man. <laughs> I ran back and got it. Can't forget to get some nice premium for the Maverick and the pressure washer. That's per liter, folks, not per gallon, per liter. Quick 30 today should do. Finally time to give this thing a wash. It's been about a month. I'm usually really good at washing. Stuff, but life seems to get busier and busier after you're married. A lot of other stuff to do, especially with a baby on the way. All right, let her warm up for a minute. Okay, we're good to go. Let's pop this window open. Thank you, Super ATV. Look at the tail going. <laughs> Watch out, Nala. Let's get the tail. Get the tail. There we go. Watch out. <laughs> Ooh, a flower. We got a speedy one. Watch out, bud. Better throw her low. See if she follows me through. Oh! 
Filled up pretty quick here. Thank God for work boots. Was it too deep for you, Noah? Was it too deep? Oh, oh you're excited now. I'm back. So like, where the heck did you go? Speed demon. See, this is happy, Noah. She's nice and cool now because she got to swim in the river. Somehow I went through all that water and I. Didn't really get wet. Threw my boots, but look how much cleaner it is now. I suggest if you ever get your ATV or side-by-side -side muddy, do that first. It really loosens up, you know, the super thick mud underneath and then uh, way easier to pressure wash when you're basically just washing this stuff off. It's when you start getting into like the chunkier stuff that just stays on like concrete. So, cutting up, let's go. Now that. Whatever that is, don't roll in it. Good girl. Good girl. Looks like uh, someone didn't realize the uh, lawn likes to stay wet for a while. All right, we ready for a car wash on this thing? Hey, Nolas? Let's do it. Gotta keep Nolas on the leash over here now because she likes to find all the horses poop. So I was giving her some water. She can lay in the shade here. Do a quick little wash on that and get out of here. See if we can go find a car or jump a car or something with a car. Oh yeah, she's coming off way easier now that we got her pre-soaked before. Pre-moisten. That's the amount of time to get off. She's gonna shine. Looking good. Get a little 45 minute wash. Hopefully I got everything. I imagine I missed lots of spots as per usual. Didn't hang it in the tree today. This tree is actually starting to split in half. So I don't know if it's from this unit or I should get a chain and chain it together so it doesn't fall. See if we can make it live. Oh yeah, looking good. Oh, how are you? All right, let's roll. Back in the garage. I always put the fan on it just to dry it out quick. Quick grease now with the Dewalt grease gun. This makes it grease, makes greasing way quicker, way easier. And then we are out of here. Oh, freaking! what a day. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we cracked the thousand kilometer mark. It seems like the first week you have it, <clears throat> Actually, it took me about two weeks to crack the thousand kilometer mark, and then after that, it seemed to be flying by. Anyways, new day, part two to the video. I uh, didn't really have a plan when I first started filming the other day, but now I do. I'm getting my hair cut. Then I gotta get Nala's hair cut, so we're gonna pick up Nala soon. We got to go to Princess Sato, gotta go to the farm, move a tree. We're just gonna do her all today, and I think I'm gonna get the quad out and attempt longest wheelie. It's been a few years. It's been a few years since I've even wheelied that thing. Plus I got no back brakes on that thing. It's good, we're golden. Who needs back brakes anyways? I'm an old pro, it's like riding a bike. All right, haircut time, see you in a few. <laughs> back already. So they didn't have time for me to walk in and get a haircut today. Got a book an appointment, so I booked one for this afternoon, which is weird, I always walk in, but not for Mark today. All right, new plan. Go get the dog. Let's do this. Well, I got a little sidetracked. Swung by Walmart, picked up some stuff for a trip, and then grabbed some shirts as well to get embroidered for the boys. A little cheaper there. Let's go. Hey, Nala. Do you want to go for a car ride? Oh, you want to go for a car ride? Want to go to the farm? Yeah? Okay, let's go. You speak? Speak. I love you. Speak. Nah, maybe later. Oh, she's getting excited. Quick little stop. This old embroidery shop just on Exeter Road. Just getting some gear embroidered. 
check them out. They do a really good job. Now let's see if I can get back on this busy road. Hey, Nola. You say for your haircut? Jeez, it's freezing in here, Nola. You got the AC just cranked. Holy. <laughs> you a good dog? She just wants to go to the farm, don't ya? Don't ya? Don't judge me, but every time I come over to Princess Auto, I gotta swing by the old Arby's and get arbitrated. Oh, yeah. Anyways, huh, gotta love those days when you can get a lot of stuff done. Um, yesterday, I was installing insulation all day. Yes, I'm working full time now because Facebook is withholding my checks and YouTube is just hiding me in the corner. So it sucks. It doesn't suck. I enjoy it. But, you know, I'd rather be making extra content for you guys. But, uh, yeah, since I'm working full time, it's very tough to do both. And we have a kid on the way. So, yeah, life's busy. Awesome. Love it. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to keep on keeping on. And then we're going on vacation next week. And then back to working full time. And hopefully we'll get some extra cars and get some more car jumps in. Hope you guys enjoyed the Honda Civic car jump. It went well. But uh, it was time to scrap those two and get some freshies. So, anyways, let's enjoy some Harvey, swing to Princess Auto, drop the dog off, go to the farm, do some wheelies, move some wood, get her all dead. Yeah. Mm, look at that little snack. All right, let's go uh, hit up old Princess Auto and see what uh, they got for us. Hey, Lola. Hey. Wanna go Princess Auto? Have some fun? Yeah. Hmm, what should we get today? I know. Yeah, a little sale there, sure. They always have sales here, I love it. I think I'm set for wrenches, but I do need a mini adjustable. Always definitely need a sledgehammer. Ooh, these are on sale, look at that. Watch out, Nala, you're gonna get sledged. Hey, you happy? Are you a good dog? Yeah. Always random stuff down this aisle. Some grip matting. Always oh, running over stuff. What else do we need? Some go go juice. Wash the hands. Always key. Grease off. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I actually use it to get the bug grease off the front of my truck. Thank you. All right, let's roll Noah. Happy puppy. Nala loves the farm. She also loves to find stinky dead animals to roll in or cattle poop or whatever. <laughs> and the recalls begin. <laughs> Thank you, Ford. Hi, Nala. What are you doing? What are you doing? You ready for your haircut? Huh? You ready for a haircut? All right, Red Thunder, will she start? Come on. Yeah! That's my girl. Woo! I probably should have taken the snowblower off, but... We hardly use this tractor, so I just leave it up for the winter. All right, I don't know how this is going to work, but I got the Yankum rope and a tractor, so hopefully I can figure out how to figure this out. That's all I got for you. Might as well block the whole road because why not? Alright, sweesh. I'm gonna try this one first, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Well, they almost cut all the way through. Hopefully she snaps. I don't want to stand near this in case it breaks and then, you know, rolls onto my foot. So 
I'm just gonna walk around here. Mark's taking it away. I think that his uh, father-in-law is gonna use it or somebody. Mark, what's the deal here? Well, the tree didn't fall on your house. That is a good thing. <laughs> well, six to one. So your father-in-law is gonna take this and use it for I He's got a wood stove in his shop, so. Okay, he can cut it all up, all this yeah, stuff? Yeah, as you can see, Hydro One or whoever did it chopped it already. Yep. So, and then when I rolled it, it kind of broke out there. So they're hoping somebody else will take it away. Yeah, some pretty good wood. And a big chunk fell off that tree at the same time. Yeah, they told me that there was nothing they could do about that. Oh, okay. And uh, they thought I might be upset, and I said no. You know, it's pretty difficult. To, that tree was pretty uh, high, pretty big, so, uh, okay. you know, they don't want anything else to get damaged in the area, right? Yeah, this one I think would have taken out at least a chunk of the driveway. Good chunk of the lawn, the fence. You know, it's a pretty big tree, so, and it's been dead for how many years now? Oh, like four? Yeah. <laughs> like last year, all the bark fell off, yeah. so it became pretty obvious it was dead. Yeah, so we were just waiting for it to either fall on the house or fall on the hydro lines on the neighbor's house. Well, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm glad they finally came and took it to the township. Oh, okay, yeah, the yeah. Township. Anyways, yeah, so I figured I'd take it. Um, I have the Yankum rope here. I don't really know how I was planning to lift it. I probably should have brought a few ropes, but... I managed to use the soft shackles, so let's uh, lift her up and see if I can take it to the barn. All right. Make sure you stand back. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm going to stand way back, Mark. Is that sucker going to break or what? Okay, that should work. There you go. That's it. That's it, he's gonna come back another time for the other ones, if they're still here. You know, people in the uh, area, if they can use the wood, they'll take it, but like Mark says, they gotta have the equipment to be able to do it. And this is our tractor from the farm, so we can do it no problem. Lala, look at you. You lost about 100 pounds. Can you sit? Hey. Can you sit? Oh, look at you. High five? Now look. Oh yeah, oh, got some fresh toenails, nice fur. All right, let's go do some wheelies. Oh, that thing looks so much better now that it's clean. All right, to dig this thing out, I'm gonna pull that out, pull that out. Hopefully this thing still runs. I think I got some gas over there for it. And yeah, do the old annual startup and uh, no back brakes. Hopefully we don't tip over backwards. We need the back brakes anyways. Definitely been a while since I've been on this unit. I got all the GoPros ready. Got one there, we'll switch it to my back. Got some fresh gas, some oil, lube the chain. Put some tire, or put some air in the tires. Let's see if she'll even start. <laughs> it's always a good sign. Come on, girl. Give her the shake. She needs to love the shake. I don't know why, but it just loves the shake. Didn't tell ya. Got fresh goggles, too. Magnetic lens, how about that? Isn't that amazing? You got switched on the fly, you're good to go. All right, let's warm her up and get out of here.
I left the radio on for her, but I guess she was singing to it. Her dad sent me a text there. Anyways, that was completely wild. I uh, haven't done that in probably three plus years. A little wheelie contest with myself. It was a little tricky because she doesn't like to idle, but I'm glad I ran at pretty high speed there because it uh, definitely needed a good clean out. But it took me about four or five tries. I had to keep draining some air out of the tires. It was dragging me left and right. And I had a huge cross breeze. Like as you can see how freaking windy it is. So the wind's coming towards me and I was going that way. And yeah. Anyways, glad you guys uh, watched the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the links below. Um, I'm off next week, but I'm going to try and hash out a few more videos this week to schedule in for next week. So stay tuned. Have yourself a fantastic day. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.